you know, assignment two looks great. Let's take a look at assignment three. Well, you know, the left side set there, the left backdrop could be darker to make the swatch look lighter in value and go with a blue um, as that's the complement of yellow and your swatch is a shade of red orange and you need that to look more yellow like the other swatch which is a tint of orange now in that case I think you want to add red to the swatch and you also want to make it look darker so you need a very pale background and I'd suggest cyan reds complement now on the right side I understand your use of yellow to subtract yellow from the swatch on the left on the right I'd say you want to add yellow which means maybe use the complement of yellow on the digital wheel which would be a blue Megan, you have got this theory down. Um, all of the colors meant to match do, and the theory is working. Congratulations. I guess I'd say with your right side set in assignment three, it would be nice to see you working with hue. All those colors are entirely neutral. Good work here, Hillary. All the colors that are meant to match do, and you've got the theory working. I'd like to take a closer look at assignment three, the right half. So here you're using color subtraction, but I wonder what would happen if you went with the complement of the color you want to add to the swatch. That would mean, in the case of the left background, adding magenta, which is the complement of green, and on the right, you'd add a blue or use a blue for your backdrop to add orange to the center swatch. Oh, hi, Cedric. Did you get my email uh, with a concern about the fuzziness of the shapes used in assignment two? That's something it seems like you were able to control better in assignment three. Um, you know, a problem with assignment two is the center swatches in each set are meant to match exactly, and they don't. So that sort of foils the whole experiment. Now, with assignment three, I can see you're able to match swatches. Everything that's meant to match there does, with the exception of the rightmost small swatch that needs to match the brown below it. Interestingly, here you've taken similar color sets and worked them with different backgrounds. Now, I did a test on the right side set using the actual swatch color that was displayed below and I think there you are closing in on a solution that makes good use of the three. Cheryl, I think you've got that theory and it seems as though you're able to get the software to do what you need it to. Let's take a look at assignment three. I see what you're up to here and I would suggest on the left side of the left set that that violet color be a little lighter in value. On the right side set, again on the left, I'd suggest that you go even paler with your gray. Renee, um, good results with your assignment too. You know, while the swatches in each set seem to match in size, the upper right set has small swatches. And if you were going to show this in a portfolio, I think it'd be nice if they were all identical in layout. Uh, now, Let's see, with assignment three, things look good. And I also want to say to everybody that I know that our screens are not going to show things exactly the same. You know, there'll be a little difference in color calibration. However, um, here it might be that with the left set, that tan backdrop could go even lighter in value. On right, on right, on the left side with a backdrop, Instead of a blue cyan tone, I would try a green cyan one because what you need to add to the center swatch is a red that's leaning in the direction of magenta rather, one, uh, rather than one that's leaning in the direction of orange. And um, on the right side, I think I'd try to use the backdrop to add blue rather than to add cyan. Crystal, everything that's meant to match here does, and you've got the theory, too. 
Now, let's see. I want to talk about assignment three. On the left of the left set, I think your backdrop could be a straight blue. There it is, cyan blue in hue. And on the right, I'd say what you need is a yellow backdrop. You need to use uh, color subtraction there and get yellow out of that green color. Hi, Joe. Um, nice colors with your assignment, too. You know, if there was one set that might work better, it might be the bottom left. Um, let's see, I want to focus on assignment three. And um, let's see, you know, those center swatches, the one on the left is more of a red orange and the other one is a straight orange, which might indicate that you could use a blue on left or a cyan on right to actually shift the hue. I will grant you that you brought these colors a lot closer together than they appear to be at the bottom where the swatches are juxtaposed. Now, on the right side set, looking at this in Photoshop on my screen, those blues are pretty darn similar to begin with. I see that they're not exactly the same. Um, and the effects of the backgrounds do make them look the same. Kathleen, everything that's meant to match does in assignment two. I rather like your bottom left set there. Now, let's look at assignment three. Uh, with the last set, you're going in the right direction in an effort to manage saturation. Um, however, it's not there yet. I think the right side backdrop could be even less saturated to let that center swatch there look more saturated. What about on the left? Making an attempt to add red or orange to the center swatch by using the complement of one of those colors as your backdrop. Um, and on the right side, you know, I think that right side set is showing the swatches to be more different looking than they look when they're juxtaposed. And here you've got a value matter because the hues are very similar. So I'd say with that um, sort of mauve looking uh, right side backdrop, what if you made that lighter in value? Well, hi, Leanna. You know, I'm looking at your assignment, too, and I think you're on the right track. However, the center swatches with the bottom two sets are not matching exactly, and you probably understand how that's essential. If they don't match, we don't know if the results have been achieved. They certainly haven't been achieved fair and square. Um, so manage your color picker. Now, in assignment three, the left set looks great. On the right side, let's see what you could do. I think on the right backdrop, you want a green. You want to try to add magenta to that gray center swatch. Further, you need to manage the value, um, which would be a matter of letting the backdrop be lighter in value. Patricia, all colors that are meant to match here do. And uh, I like some of the color sets you've come up with uh, with assignment two, and I'd like to suggest to you and your classmates that these color sets can be used in um, designs in future, you know, since you've got the palettes already here. Now, let's see. With assignment three, I can see what you're doing. On left, it's color subtraction, and on right, you are using the complement. I believe, of the color you want to add to the center swatch. However, on right, I think that the center swatch is looking to lighten value, which means lighten up the backdrop. On right, on right, I would say with a left background, you want to be subtracting blue. Um, I, I, I try... I'd try a blue backdrop there.